Hey everyone, Surat here, and yeah, this is a new Let's Play. The very start of it. The start of a new randomized Let's Play, and I thought, instead of explaining it as I went, because I would forget some things, I would actually show you guys the settings I'm going to take for this. And yes, as you can see, this is the Pokemon Red Blue Randomizer. So, we're going to go through these. I've got the cheat sheet here that explains what every single checkbox can be, and I'm going to be reading through them as we go. First, we've got Starter Pokemon. You have the option to pick any single Pokemon from the original 151, because this is red-blue, that's all the game has programmed into it. For any of the three slots. And you can tell the base of Pokemon only, but that's kind of boring. We're setting those to random. So we have no, we could get Weedle, Weedle, and Weedle. Who knows? That would be a very lousy starting Pokemon, but it would be very quick to get out of it. Unless I ran into nothing but Pidgeys. That could get annoying. But anyway, hopefully that won't happen. My test run Electabuzz actually showed up in the starter Pokemon. So who knows? So... The next bit here that we are actually going to go down to, because that is what it's actually mentioning here, the wild Pokemon options. And to understand this, you kind of have to understand how Pokemon categorizes its Pokemon and stores them. Basically, it assigns each Pokemon a number, and when it rolls dice for an encounter, it rolls against those numbers. What we can do here is basically swap all those numbers around. So, let's say for the first encounter, it can roll a 1 or a 2 when you actually get into the wild. And if it rolls a 1, you get a Pidgey. If it rolls a 2, you get a Rattata. And everywhere else in the world, a 1 is a part of its encounter table. It can roll a, you know, it can roll a Pidgey. Or everywhere else a 2 is, it can roll Rattata. This shuffles that so 1 could be Mr. Mime and 2 could be Dragonite. Or Dragonair. Or Dratini. And for everywhere in the world that a Pidgey used to show up, or a Rattata used to show up, suddenly you'd get the new Pokemon in there. That would be a global one-to-one -one substitution. Yeah. Basically. And it's like, for example, the example it gives all Pokemon of the same species change Pokemon change to Pokemon and other random species. All Zubats throughout the Caves of Kanto will become the same alternate Pokemon. Basically what I just said. Area unique one-to-one -one substitutions. All Pokemon of the same species within each location change to another random species. This means that it doesn't change anything out it changes each area individually. It doesn't change all Zubats throughout the world, it only changed Mount Moon Cave Zubats, and then another cave Zubats may remain unchanged, or they may get, you know, or they may get altered. Or we can go completely random. Click. Means we may see ten different Pokemon per area in the grass. Fishing spots not affected as much because they're only counter. Let's see. If we randomize the unique Pokemon, that means the Legendaries, Snorlaxes, Eevees, Lapras, the Seldon Game Corner Prize Pokemon, those can be randomized. Click. The Trade Pokemon? Click. And we want to make sure all the Pokemon appear. We just want to make sure they are all around, because we will have a chance to make sure we can get all of them. Yeah, since, you know, this is obviously a ROM, you know, we are not going to be able to do trade substitutions. Luckily, they thought about this, and trade change, change trade Evos to level up is there. So, trainer Pokemon options. We can either make him unchanged, either make all the trainers completely unchanged. We can all make them one-to-one -one substitutions, much as what you saw up there, but we're going to make them all completely random, so we don't know what the gym leaders are going to have, we don't know what any of the trainers are going to have, 
Let's go ahead and randomize the trainer name. And just for kicks, the rival gets to keep whatever Pokemon he gets lucky or unlucky enough to start with. Now, randomized TM attacks. Eh, uh, TMs will no longer be what you're used to. Yeah, you could get completely awesome moves, or you could get completely terrible moves out of the TMs. And it says the uh, hidden machines, the HMs, will not be selected for this, just because that would kind of make the game unwinnable if they s suddenly started to uh, hit you with that. We will be doing that. However, this... We will be doing that, too. We will randomize the compatibility. So you get a TM... Suddenly, every Pokemon's going to have a 50-50 shot whether they can learn that move or not. Randomized Pokemon movesets, those Pokemon you see right at the very, you know, the when you first see a Pokemon, the moveset it starts with. That's what we're talking about here. We are going to switch those out. Are we going to switch the stats around? I think I'm going to leave those alone so we have some sense of the... Nah, never mind. We'll change those. And randomizing Pokemon types, I think, actually would be just a step too far, because I'm not really sure. But then again, this is a randomizer. So there we go. So. But just to be, you know, a little bit more clear. Randomized Pokemon movesets, um, they're rigid, they're normal move set becomes completely unknown and could be really good or really bad. Uh, each Pokemon always gets a damaging move to start, which can count metronome. And you don't start with it. No Pokemon will get any of the hidden machine moves to start with because there is no move deleter in this game, so it would be kind of stuck with a bad hidden machine move. Uh, all the moves learned by level up will stay there, so you don't have to worry about, you know, never getting a normal move for a Pokemon. Switching the Pokemon stats around basically means that their base stats are just getting swapped around. So you used to have, you know, a really good special attacker that was terrible with special defense. Now uh, there's a pretty good chance those two numbers got swapped to other, um... Other options, so we may be, so we may see Speedster Snorlax. Go figure. A super fast Snorlax with no hit points. Eh, could happen. We will see. And randomized Pokemon types. Yeah, every randomized type has a 50% chance of being dual typed. Every Pokemon evolution line keeps the same types. Although single type Pokemon have a 15% chance to grow a secondary type when they evol when they evolve. So yeah, you can expect certain types for every part of an evolutionary li evolutionary line. So yeah, guess we're doing that. Then fix type errors up here. We had a few type mismatches coded into the original red or blue that made things annoying. Because if you remember, in the original Red or Blue, Psychic was, for example, you know, immune to ghost attacks when it was supposed to be weak. Yeah, we're fixing that. Where Fire now will resist Ice, Poison will resist Bug, and Poison attacks are neutral to Bug. There you go. Change the trade Evos to level up, so if I get the feeling... The uh, four trade evolutions, Graveler, Macho, Contra, and Kadabra, will evolve at level 40 instead of during a trade. Modify some attacks. A handful of attacks are fixed, but some of the changes that have been made in later generations that proved to be good, for example, just off the top of my, he top of my head, Thunder now has a paralysis chance of about 30% instead of, I believe, the 15 it had or so. So yeah, we're going to basically fix some attacks and we can change the Pokemon palette colors so you know pink is normal red and yellow is ground etc 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 so they will be a little bit more distinct 
I will probably forget half of these as I start. But you know. And that is how we are going to do that. So anyway. Let's see here. So I am going to go with these settings. When I come back, we will actually have the game start and we will get our first Pokemon and see if we can manage to not get completely wiped with uh, against Gary. So be back in just one second, folks. And here we are. That sounds awfully loud. Give me just one second to... Oh, that's about the right... Huh. Oh well. Yeah, it seems a little bit loud, doesn't it? I will test this first video and see. But yeah, so we now have a completely scrambled up ROM. There we go. And most of you should be very familiar with this whole start. Meeting Professor Oak and suddenly seeing a Gengar there. I don't think I have enough spaces. I do, okay. Let's be completely original here. There we go. And got to name the rival. We'll keep him as Gary. Old, senile Professor Oak, not able to remember the name of his own grandson. So I think we all know how this whole thing starts out by playing a Super Nintendo. Not when they're 10. Oh, it said so on TV. Yeah, that's still kind of amazing to me that then again, she probably just wants some time alone with Professor Oak. That is the typical joke, isn't it? So we will do the standard talk to people, because I don't think the randomizer changed people. And all the hidden machines should still be available to us at their normal points. Good for you. Good for you, too. Fair enough. Unfortunately, it will not let me see what's in them yet. We're just gonna have to go on the wild goose chase looking for, uh... The Professor. We will have to come back for the map. 
And if I do get stuck at any point, I will be consulting a, you know, very, very light walkthrough. Because it has been a very long time since I've played Pokemon Red and Blue. And I will try to do most of my grinding, if not all of it, off screen so you guys don't have to sit there and watch me swap Pokemon back and forth just so I'm the right level for a uh, gym. And speaking of the randomizer that I'm playing, um, one of the things is it should keep all the Pokemon encounters roughly the same level they would normally be. They'll just be different types with completely different move pools. And rude ass Gary there. Cause you're a loser and you smell, Gary. We need to go first. First is a coughing. Wouldn't be my first choice. The best, I think that's a lie. Ooh. Wow, that's kind of amazing that an Eevee shows up right here. I don't think Eevee's wet. And the third choice is Bellsprout, huh? Well, none of these types really have an advantage over any of the others. No. But I gotta be me. I gotta take the Eevee right off the bat. Even though I'm not going to be able to evolve it for a very long time. But we're going to start out with a freaking Eevee. Your name, Eevee. Mm. We're calling you Lucky. See, you taking the bell sprout, you're taking the bell sprout. Yeah, but we can't capture anything. Oh well, time to Oh yeah. Gotta have the fight. Let's see if Eevee can beat Bell Sprout. Remember, we're getting randomized move pools to start with, so who knows what we got. So we got Skull Bash and Thunder Wave. Aww. Probably gonna lose horribly. We both got skull. <laughs> I may win this just because it looks like I have more hit points. Even though I did a really dumb thing and tried to. Okay, I'm not going to complain about having paralysis at my disposal. And win. I are winner, ha ha ha. So I've actually got a couple of decent moves to start with. Okay. This might not be such a horrible, horrible run.
So as soon as I find a Thunderstone, Lucky is evolving. Just to let you guys know. So yeah. Thus begins the journey in the world of glamorized cockfighting. At random. And I think this will do it for our first video. Getting our Pokemon soundly thrashing Gary. Yeah. We've had a we've had an exciting beginning day. Actually, one thing I'm going to do before shutting the video down. Heal up. And so yeah, now I'm going to call the video. So I'm going to go test the sound levels on this thing, check and make sure that the game just isn't blaringly loud, and upload it. I'm, I'm pretty much going to go with this regardless because that was a fantastic start to get Eevee and Skull Bash and Thunder Wave and Eevee. I like it already. But who knows what's going to come up later. This should be interesting, folks. Okay, take care, everyone. I will see you back next time for more. Later, all.